Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, I wanted to talk a little bit about how the class is organized. Um, the reason I wanted to provide this quick, short lecture is so that it can help you better decide on whether or not you want to sign up for the class, purchase the class. So this class is a little different than many of the classes on Udemy in that it's not just a how-to. Um, this class is organized around explaining all the concepts of a programming language. It's really focused on the why. In addition to providing the how, I'm going to provide many how-tos on how to write certain programs and demonstrate different concepts. But again, it's a little unique in that it's just not a how-to. You're going to understand concepts. You're going to understand why you're doing the things you're doing when you're writing your code. So it's a complete learning experience. Um, at the end of this class, you're going to fully understand the programming language. Specifically, you're going to understand um, how the programming language works and all the concepts associated with that language. And again, as I mentioned earlier, I find this is lacking in many of the Ud Udemy courses. Uh, many of the Udemy courses are nothing more than demonstrations of projects, of, of certain how-tos on how to create a, a, a particular coding project without fully understanding what you're doing or why you're doing it. I also want to describe how I'm going to present this information and how you're going to learn it. Uh, first and foremost, we're all going to have all video lectures. You know that the policy in Udemy is mainly that. The way they're going to provide a lot of uh, some of the some of the material is I'm going to provide it through PowerPoint slides. And some people are negative on PowerPoint slides. They don't really like to learn from PowerPoint slides. Um, they're they're just real not keen on it. The reason I provide PowerPoint slides is because I have to provide these concepts and definitions. Often is the case. And they're very abstract, and I can't just go into an IDE and demonstrate the code. I have to prov provide the concept some kind of text. Now, I could provide that in Notepad, WordPad, any other editor. Um, I choose PowerPoint, slide, PowerPoint because it has a nice visual representation, and it's very useful in that manner. I'm not going to just be reading from the slides, so I will hear some complaints often in other classes where, hey, you're using PowerPoint slides, and you're just going to read from them. Well, no, I'm not just going to read from them. I'm going to provide insight via my experience. So the PowerPoint slides, again, they're designed to provide for you the understanding of the material. I'm not sure any other way I can do that without providing at least some PowerPoint slides, especially concerning abstract concepts and definitions. I just don't know other way to do it. Um, you have to listen and you have to uh, try to understand from it. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to not going to provide other concepts of learning, but there are going to be PowerPoint slides. So understand that coming in the class. And um, these are going to contain thorough explanations via my experience. It's a way for you to understand the concepts in the class. It's not the only thing that I'm going to provide, but you are going to see PowerPoint slides. So don't just necessarily get negative on the entire class because there are PowerPoint slides. Um, it's one technique in helping you learn, and I think a technique that needs, that is needed in the class. In addition to the PowerPoint slides, I'm going to do tons of practical hands-on demonstrations of code. So I'm going to bring up the IDE. I'm going to uh, bring up an editor. I'm going to show you how to write the code in an editor. I'm going to provide code examples. I'm going to type in the code. These are going to be concrete. They're going to be real world. So it, this, this type of learning will be more practical, and it will be more hands-on learning. And I know many students like this, and it's needed. I love it because it's more practical, and it actually see you can see how I'm writing code. Uh, again, though, if I'm if I'm trying to present information or concepts such as polymorphism, I also want to provide a lecture or a PowerPoint slide associated with that to give you a formal definition, so that we don't, we don't just dive into the code and then you have to kind of scratch your head and say what's exactly is he doing in the code. So PowerPoint slides, in addition to demonstrations, are going to be provided in this class. Um, this will help supplement your learning of the language itself. In addition, you need a way to assess how well you're doing in the class and what you're learning and if you're learning. So we're going to provide challenges. Challenges are essentially coding assignments. They're additional projects. Um, how it will work is I'll provide you with this assignment. I'll tell you the requirements, explain, maybe give you some tips on how to complete the challenge, and then you'll go off and do it on your own. And then I'll provide another video which will be a solution to that lecture so you can see whether or not you did it correctly. Um, the solution will be a complete walkthrough or, a, or what is called a code along of the solution. I'll go line by line explaining every line of the solution 
in an integrated development environment, in an environment where you write your code. I'll run it. I'll um, demonstrate how it works, everything. And then in addition to going through this video walkthrough, I'll also provide all the source code to you so that you can download it and you can compare the source code to your source code um, in text. But again, I wanted to just provide this quick lecture so that you know how the class is organized in terms of how you're going to learn and what you're paying for. And if you see a lot of PowerPoint slides, try to give you an idea of why I provide them and why I think they're useful. Um, again, I want to provide a complete learning environment. And I don't think I can do that by just doing a how-to of walking through projects. So I hope you appreciate this lecture and I hope you understand where I'm coming from and, uh, and how you're going to learn in this class. Thank you.